Hello Taurus, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing a Halloween spread called the Jack-O-Lantern um, spread. It looks at five different things and I'm going to be using Tarot Illuminati for yours. Um, so we look at, what happened to my, it's right, there it is. I misplaced it, okay. Um, we're looking at five different things. Number one, what will open your love life. Number two, so these are the two eyes of the jack-o'-lantern. The eye that disguises, which is intended to be, um, you know, how we initially present ourselves, kind of the veneer that we have um, when we're just getting to know someone. Um, the eye that reveals, so that's something that happens as we get to know someone. We show them more of who we are. Um, number four, your instincts in love, which is your nose. Um, or not your nose. <laughs> the nose of the jack-o'-lantern. Number five, the truth that needs to be spoken, which of course is the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern. So let's jump right in. Um, oh my goodness. There you go. What will open your love life? Two of Cups. Clearly romance. Contact. One of the reasons I um, pulled this particular deck to use for you is because it has such lush fabrics and, and things like that. The beauty that uh, Tauruses are known to love. So, sorry. I feel like there was an animal, and there's not supposed to be an animal in here, so I'm getting strange vibes. Um, so there you go. Two of Cups. That's what will open your love life. Just diving in, expressing. Um, Two of Cups is about affinity. So your affinity with other people is what opens you up. So this is, you know, in, you know, there's opposite sex, but it's about healing, number one, you've got the caduceus, healing, but it's also finding someone that you have a genuine affinity with, so it's not just physical attraction, you have a genuine affinity with that person um, in more than one way, and they, I don't know, I mean, it's not like you need to be healed necessarily, but that you feel that being with them sort of heals something in you, maybe makes aware makes you aware of something that you haven't had in your life, and and aren't and you're needing in your life, someone who really compliments you in that way. Okay, next the eye that disguises. Well, this one was wanting to come out, so I'll just go with it. Ah, the fool. So you might pretend, without even thinking about it, because again, we all have this, you may pretend that you are more carefree than you actually are. You might be a little hesitant to reveal um, the extent to which you love stability and routine and staying within your own kind of circle. The eye that reveals. Where are we going to go? I think it's this one. Hmm. So you have the Ace of Swords. So the eye that reveals. So in time, what people see is, um, you know what I'm getting from this? It's not something I usually get from the Ace of Swords, is design your ability to design. The Ace of Sword is usually about ideas. Um, and the first thing that came to me when I saw this was your power. Um, and I think that's coming more from the mountain behind the sword. But the other thing, because there's so much beauty here, is your sense of design, like how you design your home, how you organize your home, um, also your ability to lead others. So these are things that reveal who you are. So this, when I say the eye that reveals, it's like something, both the eye that disguises and the eye that reveals are things that we don't, 
aren't conscious of particularly. So the eye that disguises is the way that we kind of keep people out a little bit. It's just an automatic method that we do that. The eye that reveals is when um, we're really engaged in something and it shows our passion. So when you're doing this, when you're showing your power, especially in terms of design and creating a beautiful environment and leading others, that's when the person that you're with or people who are around you see that inner passion that maybe you um, try to hide a little bit. All right, so, you know, it's more your true self. We're going to go, this is your instincts in love. Huh. Justice. Objectivity is usually what justice is about. So you, maybe you're looking for, because you like stability, Tauruses, you're looking maybe for somebody who is stable, balanced, fair, all of these things. So you're, oh, well, that's interesting. So yeah, you look for somebody who is kind of somebody who is not going to create surprises for you. And that makes some sense because again, this is somebody who is just, of course, being justice, balanced, tries to keep things balanced, isn't interested in upsetting the scales. Um, and objective so that if you have something you want to express or a direction you want to go in, they can look at things objectively and not give you a lot of drama. Okay, number five, truth that needs to be spoken. And this can sometimes be from the past. Three of Pentacles. So the truth that needs to be spoken, this again is in your love life in some regard. So this is a, you know, it's about cooperation. I don't know if you're needing cooperation from others. So, you know, something that you're not getting. Um, again, since this seems to be a bit of a theme here, like with that Ace of Swords, um, you might need cooperation in designing your space or your home where something needs to change there. Um, it could be, too, that you are this person who seems to have the plan for the building. And if you're not sharing that, that can be problematic in a relationship. And this is interesting, too, to come up because, you know, the eye that reveals is you doing exactly this. That shows, that's, that's what shows your passion. So... It's, it's kind of a double thing saying it's time for you to reveal. It's time for you to show your passion for um, designing your environment. Isn't that interesting? It is to me. I hope it is to you. <laughs> um, that, that, you know, a love reading would kind of go in that environment, uh, excuse me, in that direction to be so um, environment oriented. So that's it. That is your Halloween jack-o'-lantern reading. I hope um, it was insightful for you. And I will see you again for the, for the usual monthlies when they come around. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.